If you've been on the internet at all in the past few months, then you've probably heard a lot about AI. Some people even use it to do their homework. <clears throat> Moving on. Me and my friend decided that we wanted to use ChatGPT, an AI software, to play Sea of Thieves, and it was pretty interesting. We thought ChatGPT would be pretty good at playing video games, considering it can literally get into Harvard as easily as you could press subscribe. Up to you, by the way. We wanted to see if the AI would give us a cool or a fun experience in playing the game, since we're normally very dumb when we play. The rules were that the AI would have to make important decisions about where we were going and what we were doing. We'd have some control over smaller decisions and we weren't allowed to regenerate responses which is a feature on chat gpt where the ai says something different to what it just said so it basically meant no cheating as soon as we loaded in i let the ai know where we were and it gave us a list of things to do most of the time we'd pick a one thing out of the list that chat gpt would give us but since these things were so basic we did all of them Since ChatGPT told us to do a voyage, we asked it where to go first, and it told us to go to Snake Island. Where is the painted red flower? Oh, here it is. Sunstone on the southwest beach. Oh, hello, Mr. Mr. Blowy Yuppie. Yeah, I just heard that. We have a cake now. I found the cake. No, I'm so tempted don't do that. The trip. Don't set off that cake. Alright. You! Now, when finding a rowboat, ChatGPT told us to use it for transportation, which was pretty helpful for us moving the loot we got from the island. So, so far, ChatGPT was actually playing the game in a helpful way. While we were on our way to the next island for our voyage, we spotted a ghost loop, and ChatGPT wanted to make things more difficult. It says we need to engage in battle. If we engage with the sloop, and oh, I get on it with a Yeah, keg. you do that. Yeah, that will, that will save us time. Alright, we should get ready with this keg. Mm-hmm. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. They're gonna sink. I jumped on and they immediately blundered me. Hope that was a spectacle. Okay, so it's setting us on fire. Yeah, it was a spectacle, right. They're gonna sink right away. Yeah, they sunk. They sunk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Most of that happened to us as we got set on fire. Okay, we're sinking. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We did catch on fire because I rammed them. Thank you, AI, because that was about, like, five minutes of sailing, just to get, like, a minute of fighting, but, you know. Uh, there's a player sloop south. Engage in PvP? Okay, f***ing hell. It's an aggressive AI, it is. The ship that is, like, nearest to us appears to be a very chill ship. Well, it said engage in PvP. It did indeed. It said that. It, the AI is controlling us. We're not bad people. The AI is a bad AI. Bad AI. Bad naughty, AI. Naughty, naughty. You should ask the AI if we should do the world event. Because, like, if we go in there, attack the sloop, and then try and do the world event. Okay, it said yes. We have to do the world event after fighting the sloop. Alright. Coming up on this ship. Be careful of these rocks here. Yeah, oh, I got hit oh, off the fuck. ship. Okay, it's fine. I'm getting mermaid. I'm yeah, getting mermaid. I saw you that. Keep steering. Start turning there. Yeah. I hit them. Nice. Hit them again. And again. Nice. Three hits. That's good right. Hit. Yeah, just keep turning Ooh. right. Okay. It's looping time. And okay, then go left, everywhere. go left, go left. There, there's shotgun, I think. Time to fire, okay. time to fire. I'm repairing a hole. Okay. You know what? Um, yeah. You do that. I'm gonna repair. The ghost ship is blocking us. The ghost ship just took a bullet for us. Epic. Another one. Okay, we still got hit. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. I bet this other sloop's like proper happy right now. Yeah, I hit one of the big old galleons. I hit another one. Nice, I'm moving sails. Oh, uh, oh, I got killed. Well, so you got to bail. Yes! I've put a storage crate on the cannon by mistake. I killed one. I anchored them. You stay on our ship. I got knocked off the ship. I got knocked off oh the ship. no. Okay, just get back on as soon as possible. I anchored them. It's not going horribly. We sunk! You might be able to get back. Oh, shut up. Ow. 
Bye bye. Get out of my yeah. game. Drill. Ah, uh, my cannons. Oh, we're pretty much. Because I like the big boss ones. I got it. Nice. Ones. These are like just whole sea forts you get given. Come on, you're, you're done. Oh, because there's no way. Yes. Oh yeah, you're done. Yes. Yes! I think we're, we're finished with the world event. Let's mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Money, 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 Jesus money, money. Christ. Money upon money upon money upon money upon money. Order of Souls is going to go up just a little bit after this. Once we finished our voyage, ChatGPT told us to seek out some PvP action, but there were no ships. So we ended up moving on, and there was a Reaper's Bounty Chest, which sells for quite a lot of money. We came across a sea fort, which gives you 19,000 gold on average, and it told us to engage in a fort raid, which meant we could get in on some loot. Ow. They are the yeah, KO Perico of Sea of Thieves. Honestly. They are. Like, that is a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, also, the captain's already somehow here. I don't know how. Is he? But he is. Either a little bit. Once we got to Reapers, we asked it if we should become an emissary, and it did say yes, which meant that we could get bonus gold if we leveled ourselves up before selling the bounty chest, but then the game just glitched out and didn't level us up at all, which is pretty annoying. If you know why this happened, then let me know in the comments, because I'm pretty confused by it, but it's not that big of a deal. We still made quite a nice amount of gold. Two gold, baby. Now, that world event we did earlier had the strongest cannonballs in the game, and I wanted to use them. So I asked ChatGPT what to do with it, and it decided on PvP. And since there were no ships around, I came up with a great plan. Treason. The Reaper's hideout has its own cannons, which meant I could use those lovely, dangerous Wraith cannonballs, which are basically gunpowder barrels as cannonballs, on our own ship. Since my crewmate Rosha was a player. Technically, it's PvP. Which means, inadvertently, the AI sunk our ship. Definitely not my fault. It's completely ChatGPT's fault. I would never attack my own crew. ChatGPT told me to do it. Like, why would I do that? That's just foolish. But overall, I do think that this is genuinely quite a fun way of playing Sea of Thieves. But if you stuck to this, you would have some pretty interesting experiences. This was actually our second time trying it. The first time was much more boring, and my recording just decided to not save at all. It just deleted itself so that was cool this ended up turning out better so i hope you did enjoy and since you made it this far consider subscribing since you can see more content like this in the future when i post it next and it helps out the channel a lot and it means a lot goodbye for now and i hope i'll see you in the next video